you transition from one to the next. And when you're in the next, things don't work the same anymore. We're transitioning to globe. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. The Father is in My name is Andrew Hemstraud. Thank you for joining Jesus us. Right. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. Holy if this Ghost isn't your first God time here and these messages are today. blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. Now the Lord is that spirit. Well, there is a spirit Lord in the earth jesus is in heaven at the father's right hand and they sent the holy ghost to be with us in the earth Hallelujah. so there is a spirit lord in the earth today it's not jesus he's the one jesus sent mm -hmm. why are you so confused over this acts chapter 13 verse 2 as they worshiped the lord and fasted say and fasted the Holy Ghost said so as they were worshiping the Lord the Holy Ghost said something as they were worshiping the Lord the Holy Ghost said something remember we just read now the Lord is that spirit that spirit is the Holy Ghost as they were ministering to or worshiping the Holy Ghost he said something is the Holy Ghost a person mm -hmm. he said separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them. Verse 4 So they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost. Yes. Who were they sent forth by? The Holy Ghost. And then they went about preaching and doing stuff that preachers do, anointed by the Holy Ghost. Say anointed. 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 And the word anointing means to smear on or to rub on, like pouring oil on. So they were anointed by the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Say they were, anointed they were anointed by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Was the Holy Ghost the anointing? No. No, he had them anointed. He anointed them. Say he, he anointed, them. anointed them. And we see Jesus said as much in Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4 verse 18 the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me because he is the anointing is that what it said no. the Spirit of the Lord is on me because he's the anointing no because he hath anointed me who anointed Jesus who sent Jesus forth who would Jesus therefore be following and serving the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. are you here yes. and then if we look back in uh, Luke chapter 4 verse 8 Jesus again red letters says thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve who is Jesus serving the Holy Ghost the Lord his God I'm not making this up thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve second corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 said now the lord is that spirit yeah. jesus said thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only serve now the lord is that spirit thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only serve now the lord is that spirit god in the earth today the holy ghost mm -hmm. thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only serve well i have personally accepted this truth and i've entered into and speak from this place a place of one who worships the holy ghost as god and him only serves and you get mad at me for saying that but i'm not the same i've been changed by being in this place this is different this is not what i used to preach and it's different from what most other preachers preach yeah. 
i'm speaking from this room that i entered into through worshiping the holy ghost as god now the lord is that spirit mm -hmm. and if you continue in here with me worshiping the holy ghost as god using the words i worship you holy ghost then you will be completely and totally rewired to be in this room and it'll be different than what you were doing before completely different you will be rewired to know the holy ghost as the only god in the earth today and you will worship him and serve him mm -hmm. it's different and this is where we're going a transition takes place I'm transitioning <laughs> not in the weird way I'm transitioning from one thing to another thing where in this room if I didn't come in this room I could not begin to transition from one thing to the next what do you think we're transitioning from to glory to glory verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the what glory of the lord the glory of what lord the spirit lord if you don't enter into this room by worshiping him as lord god in the earth today you can't behold him you won't know his glory and you can't be transitioned from one to the next we're beholding the glory of the lord are changed who are changed we are we are changed into the same image that you're beholding from glory to glory from the glory that you've been exposed to in that room mm -hmm. to another glory from the glory that you're exposed to by worshiping him you transition into another glory mm -hmm. a transition takes place a transition must be made a lot of things that you were doing before won't work over here you've transitioned from one to the next and when you're in the next it's a little different and things don't work the same anymore we're transitioning to glory if we're transitioned to glory were we in that glory before no it's different we behold him the spirit lord in here and as we do we are changed into the same image we are changed before i was changed i was not changed is this too difficult no before i was changed i couldn't see the things that i can see after i've been changed and what am i seeing glory is it glory glory we're changed from glory to glory it must be glory that we are beholding say we're changed by glory it must be his can you see that it must be according to this verse of scripture it must be his glory that we're changed into it must be glory that changes us well in here we are changed from glory to glory what are we changed by the glory mm -hmm. and we're changed to another glory right not the anointing did it say the anointing yeah. it would have said the anointing if that's what he was talking about he's not talking about the anointing he's talking about him and his glory well i speak from this room of holy ghost worship i worship the holy ghost yeah we don't do that in our church i know and you can't go here the lord my god and him only do i serve i worship you holy ghost most people choke off right there 
well if they stop at the door and don't come in here how can they possibly proceed unto the next glory mm -hmm. it's not possible say I'm going forward, I'm going forward. To, another level to another level of glory, glory. and I'm telling you it's not the anointing it's different why would it be the same thing it's not we are transitioning from one thing that we were living on and by to another thing that we're living on and by I hope you can hear this because in the glory is everything in the glory is every provision you could possibly know and it does not work the same as all the other things that we were doing before the glory is different the glory operates differently we are transitioning from believing for things to being something because remember we're changed into the same image we're changed we become something that we weren't before so we're transitioning for believing for things believing for all the promises don't criticize me I believe in believing for all the promises I'm telling you that we're transitioning from that believing and with the anointing for all the promises to being something you're transitioning from having to believe for things to being you've changed and I'm finding out many things that I didn't know before but over here we need a new language to describe what is actually going on over here the old language doesn't work it doesn't fit in this place can you understand that I'm talking about a place where very few people have ever been and we're called to go there and live there mm -hmm. so we need a new language to describe what's going on over here in this room walking with the Holy Ghost and being changed from glory to glory the old language won't work yes I know about the language of speaking in other tongues I know about the language of the anointings and the gifts of the Spirit there's a whole language that goes with that the way that we talk about it and I know about the language of faith the word of faith preaching faith I know about this this language but this the language of glory life is being created even as we speak it's not what you're used to we are transitioning from the old familiar terms of the anointing to the new not yet familiar terms that we need to use to live in the glory the old is safe it's comfortable but the new is exciting it's different it's dangerous the glory is not the anointing and almost all of our language especially in our charismatic spirit-filled circles word of faith mm -hmm. whatever you want to call yourself almost all of our language has been based on that the anointing but the glory is not the anointing and because all of our almost all of our language has been based on the anointing it's why almost no one worships the Holy Ghost because they don't know him as God mm -hmm. one who is glorious therefore they can't see him that way they can't behold him that way and almost all the time they're talking about him they're really just talking about the anointing his gifts well they don't know him as God in fact my language about worshiping the Holy Ghost as God is completely unfamiliar to almost everyone in the body of Christ mm -hmm. it's a language that we use that's unfamiliar and uncomfortable to people yeah. how many times have you said that to someone oh, I worship the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and they're like oh whoa, 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 I gotta get out of here they're uncomfortable with it mm -hmm. no, I'm not uncomfortable with it anymore I live here 
and because I live here I see him in a way and his glory in a way that changes me from one glory to another glory and I'm telling you the glory is not the anointing the glory is different it operates differently and this is where we're going no I don't want to go there you don't want to go from glory to glory by the Spirit Lord is this fun yet well they don't know him because they don't worship him as God but my language about worshiping him makes some people uncomfortable because they're unfamiliar with it they've never gone there how much more the language about the glory that comes from worshiping him how much more is that gonna make them uncomfortable mm -hmm. much more but a transition must be made listen to me a transition must be made a lot of things you were doing before simply won't work over here we're transitioning from one you could say a source of fuel to another source of fuel again language begins to fail remember jesus always said why why are you always talking in parables i was thinking about fasting say fasting 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 begins when you stop eating food and ends when you start eating food mm -hmm. you can drink as much water as you want it's pretty simple mm -hmm. well on a three-day fast are you here i'm trying to use this in, as an example on a three-day fast your body transitions from processing glucose which is basically sugar mm -hmm. as its fuel mm -hmm. that by the third day it begins to process and use ketones instead of glucose I'm not trying to get all technical or scientific here but I'm saying you know, the transition takes place mm -hmm. during fasting and it feels a little different mm -hmm. feels a little uncomfortable at first but then you start to like it better it does something that just working on glucose won't do for you I don't know if that's a great example or not but the glory is different from the anointing the glory does something to you and for you that the anointing cannot do It'll only take you so far how far will glory take you to glory where are we going mm -hmm. so we've got to get used to operating in the glory is this making sense mm -hmm. this is different and I hope you can hear it this is different I am called unto glory you are called unto glory but few go here i must go here this is my destination i am going here and if you don't like me now you'll hate me real soon <laughs> glory is dangerous glory shakes things glory breaks things another example when an airplane begins to break the sound barrier you ever heard of this they go they start to approach the speed of sound they call it a barrier because right when you're getting up to it mm -hmm. a lot of shaking starts to happen it's difficult to get through but then when they punch through it and they get to the other side everything's different over there aerodynamics work completely different over there airplanes that are not designed to go over to the other side first of all don't ever make it there but if they did they'd be torn apart by what is just natural for something that travels at that speed does that make sense mm -hmm. again i'm trying to use a natural illustration even even if you're you're designed to go past the speed of sound but you got a couple of little flappy things off the side What's going to happen to those little flappy things if they're not designed to go past the speed of sound they're going to be gone they will be ripped off mm -hmm. well needless to say everything is different on the other side of the speed of sound functions differently over there haggai chapter 2 verse 5 according to the word that i covenanted with you when you came out of egypt 
so my spirit remains among you are we in a day when his spirit remains among us yes yes mm -hmm. that is our day his spirit the holy ghost is here Amen. remaining among us mm -hmm. For thus says the Lord of hosts or the Lord of spirits yet once it is a little while and I will shake I will shake the heavens and the earth where's the earth where he is and the sea and the dry land I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with my anointing is that what it said no because no, he's already done that he's already sent everybody out with the anointing this is different mm -hmm. say this is different. this is different I will fill this house with glory says the Lord of hosts the silver is mine the gold is mine saith the Lord of hosts the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former says the Lord of hosts and in this place will I give peace says the Lord of hosts my point here mm -hmm. which I can make many is that the glory shakes things mm -hmm. it shakes things and it breaks things and you're either gonna be in it and participate in it which is you being changed into the same image yeah. or you get broken you get shaken and you get removed are you here yeah. I will shake with his glory says the Lord of spirits so there is a transition to a glorious place a glorious economy that we're called to go and live in mm -hmm. who do you suppose goes and lives there people that have transitioned people that have learned how to behold him and be changed by beholding him well the glory operates differently and we are beginning the transition is this okay yes. say we are, we are beginning, beginning the transition, the transition. From, glory, from beholding glory to glory your old vision is sad let his glory that you're beholding create a brand new one that's the only one that will last are you here mm -hmm. I have to do the things I'm preaching yeah. I am NOT going back I'm going from this glory to another glory and I will be changed mm -hmm. by it and I'm telling you it's different we thought you were different before you haven't seen anything yet let his glory create a brand new vision for you brand new now think of all the other things the old vision you had find the garbage can and put it in there I'm telling you it's different it's a different place to be you don't like it too bad this is where we're going everyone would say that oh yes we're going from glory to glory we're gonna we're called to go to glory and they don't know what it means they don't know they have to behold him the spirit lord and changed into the same thing tell me that's not different well as i've said everything is in this room have you heard me say that mm -hmm everything is in this room say everything, everything. Is, in is in this room why because he's in this room mm -hmm. his glory is everything and people who can hear this will go from one to the next Philippians 4 verse 19 but my God who is your God in the earth today Holy who do you worship who do you only serve the Holy, Ghost. the Holy Ghost God in the earth today my God the Holy Ghost God in the earth today my God say my God, my God. shall supply two of your needs wait my God shall supply all 
of your needs all of your need do you need money do you need health care do you need a good attitude some of you more than others my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory riches in glory by Christ Jesus why haven't you had all of your needs supplied for yet because we've not learned how to operate in participate in behold and be changed into everything that's in his glory we're transitioning this is the beginning of the transition says the Spirit Lord and those who have ears to hear will be willing willingness will take over them and they will be willing to go from one thing to the next and willing to let go of those things that have been holding them back for the things holding them back have been great have been religious have been really sad and as each one is let go they will go higher as each one is let go they will go higher as each of those sad things are let go they will go higher for my glory shall consume you and overtake you and we shall be lifted up to greatness in the earth and then shall the end shortly come in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost you are the Spirit Lord I worship you you are my God and you supply all of my need according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus I thank you for it in Jesus name amen the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today